Hello everyone and welcome. So today we're going to be switching from my nylon Prada clutch to my new Fendi Peekaboo. Interested to see what all fits? Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, unboxings, reviews, luxury travel, daily vlogs, anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find right here on this channel. So make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and say hi down in the comments. I love interacting with all of you and it's just a fun space. Also, after the video, if you haven't already, check me out over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer and same name over on TikTok. So, as I said in the intro, today we're going to be switching over from my beloved rainy day bag, the Prada Nylon Clutch, into my new to me 2010 Fendi Peekaboo. Now this is the large size Peekaboo and I've predicted it on this channel before, but I think big bags, we're gonna start seeing them a lot more this fall and by this time next year, I think we're all going to be carrying suitcases every day again, so. Buckle up, it's gonna be a fun ride. I typically do this about once a week. I carry a bag for a full week and then I switch to a new one. A, it keeps things interesting. B, I, as much as I'd love to carry a new bag every single day, I don't really have time for that. By the time I get home, I either have to film a video or run errands or do something around the house. So once a week is about as good as it gets for me. So last weekend we had a whole lot of errands. We actually filmed part of the first part of my upcoming um, Ikea closet remodel video. It's gonna be a two part series coming out probably late October, early November is when that'll be released. I'm getting a PAX closet. I've spoiled enough. You'll just have to wait and see if you're into that or want a closet tour because my walk-in closet needs a lot. Well, so all my stuff spread throughout three closets in a bedroom. You'll learn more about that in the video, but my new closet is perfection and plenty of bag storage is on the way. So anyway, we'll see that later. So anyway, so last weekend we were running errands and here in Illinois, like back home in Indiana, um, if you haven't already watched my promotion moving to Chicago video, link down below, shameless plug, we barely ever got storms. In fact, we really didn't get much rain either like if we did get rain it would be like an afternoon and done here there's like a crazy storm tornado warning every single day like we were literally moving in to our new building during a tornado warning <laughs> i don't know it's crazy so this has really come in handy living here in chicago land with the nylon bag i think i've already done a review on this maybe i could be lying to you guys I might be lying, I don't think I've reviewed this, but this bag is fabulous. So it's just the simple to pseudo nylon. You have the Prada triangle logo here with some Safiano leather trimmings. I think I got this for like 175 at the outlet last year or earlier this year at some point. So in here, I just have my Balenciaga Compagnon wallet in the anthracite with the giant silver hardware. And there we go. That'll look a little bit more appealing for you guys. I have my Prada key holder with my chunky car key and apartment keys are in there. Shiseido blotting papers get a little shiny throughout the day, so I need that. A big pack of gum and uh, just as always, I'm about out. As we all know, I'm filming on my camera, so here is my dummy tester phone, the iPhone 6 Plus, which is the same size as the new Mac sizes. So that is everything that fits into this little guy here. There's the Prada Milano plaque on the interior and a zipper pocket back in the back. So I think even though this is technically for cosmetics, for me it works perfectly as a daily pouch or a clutch. I can just throw what I need in there and dash through the rain and not have a single care in the world. So this bag has paid for itself a thousand times over. You came here for the Fendi Peekaboo, so enough about Prada. Let's switch into my new to me Fendi Peekaboo bag. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So as you can tell, it still has the fashion file tag on there. So first things first, let's get rid of that. And it's mine. Oh my God, I'm so, I am so head over heels in love with this bag, you guys. You don't even know. All right, so when I'm picking a new bag, I like to change wallets with every bag. A, with everything jostling around inside your bag, especially if you're carrying like an unstructured pouch like the Prada, it's gonna bang up against car keys or your gum case, just anything in your bag. So, and that's why I use a key case holder. So you're not gonna have all those extra keys running around and, and scratching up your wallet on the inside of your bag. So if you don't already use these, switch over them today. You're gonna thank me later, I promise. I haven't carried my new Peekaboo yet, so I don't know what wallet I want to use with it. So I have here my Balenciaga Compagnon wallet with the classic hardware. Um, what do we think? I like the color of the leather with it. I just wish the leather or the hardware was gold. I think that the aged brass hardware with the shiny gold hardware on the Fendi just doesn't quite work. So let's try another wallet. Okay, that's kind of a vibe. And as we all know, the Bratza wallet has the brass hardware on the inside, which will match the Fendi Peekaboo hardware. Louis Vuitton is the way to go. So let's get all the stuffing out. This bag is gorgeous, you guys. If you don't already have a Fendi Peekaboo or if you're thinking about getting one, I mean, just do it. You, you won't regret it, I promise. Well, I haven't even carried 
dexterity yet, so I might absolutely hate it. I mean, I doubt I will. Okay, so with me being six foot seven, this tiny little strap is not gonna do me any favors, so I'm just gonna remove it, and then maybe eventually get like one of those like cool guitar straps from Fendi to put on there. Especially like that newer monogram that's kind of like melting and trippy. I really like that vibe. So let's switch wallet. I have been using this Fendi, or excuse me, Fendi, 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 Balenciaga Compagnon wallet. I absolutely love this style of wallet. If it didn't zip, it would be perfect. Uh, I just kind of like the Louis Vuitton Bratza wallet where you can just kind of like flip it open and then there's all your stuff at a glance. Ooh, I have cash in here. That doesn't normally happen. As someone who has three of these, I highly recommend the Compagnon wallet. This probably isn't nearly as exciting as I'd planned it to be for you guys, so bear with me. Okay, we're in. So most of my cards fit all on this side. We've got our wallet set up. Let's throw that in. Oh my gosh, this big bag trend. I, I don't carry this much stuff, so I'm not going to be able to fill this up. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Okay, so throw in our gum, blotting paper. I guess for ease of access, we could slide our phone down in here. Oh, that's a deep pocket. Okay, never mind about that. Scratch that. Maybe we can use that for like receipts and things. Throw our phone here. This bag is so big. I don't carry anything. Oh, I just finished my red circle. Go me. Okay, wow. Oh my gosh, you guys, get a look at that. That's basically empty, right? Oh man, that's embarrassing. Okay, oh, let's do what the cool kids do and leave the front open. So mine has the denim interior, so it's kind of like um, jeans on the inside. You have the different like buttons and gold lame stitching, and it's it's just such a cool vibe. You might be able to see it better back here on this side. See how it just kind of looks like denim and all the seam work and, and jeans and whatnot. So we'll leave that part open on the front side. And you know what? I just want to throw this out there. I think, I think, this is going to fit my MacBook 13. This is the MacBook Pro, or this is Zane's baby, so we'll let him have the technology. I'll just take all the clothes. <laughs> all right, so this, oh my God, you guys. Okay, well that slid in without any issues, and it's not too tall, I can do up the back buckle. Oh my God, that weighs a ton. Hey, we filled up our peekaboo. Okay, so now that we know what all can fit, let's find out the ins and outs of the Fendi peekaboo in the large size. So I have been perusing YouTube and there are literally zero, well, I mean, there's like one or two, but not very many in-depth reviews on the large size peekaboo. Mini, micro, sure, tons. The large size, not so much. And I think that can be largely contributed to the fact that we don't really buy large bags like we did. I'm gonna start just because I think it's fun, the drama of having a huge bag. Let's learn the ins and outs of the large Fendi peekaboo. The large peekaboo, this, this is the exact dimensions from the listing that I purchased. The base length here is 15 inches. The height is 12 inches. Width, it says, is six inches. The handle drop, is about three and a quarter. And then the strap drop with the uh, attached strap is 11 and a quarter. So not a whole lot of room for your shoulder. So as we all know, this bag was made in 2010, features the denim lining on the interior and then like a suede microfiber lining on the insides of the gussets. Something that I thought about the Fendi Peekaboo, I thought the entire middle was as rigid as the brace up here at the top, the bracket. It's not. So it's just a divided like fabric compartment. The older styles will have the zipper here on the inside. The newer styles I think have like the snap in pocket and you can buy like replacements for it and kind of jazz up the Fendi Peekaboo, make it your own. Speaking of making it your own, I don't know for 100% if they still do this, but at one point they were doing like a create your own peekaboo um, where you just go in you'd work with the essay and pick like the leather colors your interior if you want to do like a fun snake skin you could love that idea um, different types of leathers colors of hardware and then they get a special plaque that said that it was made special order if they still do that which I'm 90% sure they do I want to get in on that I think that'd be so much fun anyway so the turn lock closure at the top it's mirrored on the back side with the second compartment I've already filled this up with air paper just so it stands up while we're talking. Now the backside in the large models, the older styles, doesn't have a pocket or anything. I'm not sure if they do in the newer ones. Um, I'll have to buy one and find out for you guys. It's just such a fun bag overall. And as I said, the bottom does have these really beautiful gold feet. I just, this is a perfect, amazing bag. Now, if you wanted to make it a little bit more casual, you could undo the strap here and just make it even all the more floppier. I think this would probably just hang down here in the front. So maybe not my vibe, but I think that it would look really cool. It's a good bag. And if you forgot, I only paid like 345 for it for Fendi Peekaboo. It's like a $3,000 bag right now. Something fun that I thought we could all do together. Over on the purse blog, they have a which Fendi Peekaboo are you quiz. So I want to do it. We have the which Fendi Peekaboo are you. This was in celebration of National Handbag Day, which was earlier this week. I should have bought a new bag, right? All right, let's take this quiz. Okay. 
Awesome, you're the following peekaboo type, the brand loyalist. Okay. This peekaboo is a corner office in bag form, and that's right where you like to sit. Not wrong. It's both classic and a little bit grand, just like you are. True. But above all, it's extremely refined. I've been described as that before. You're the type of person who has a packed schedule, yes, and lots of meetings to run, and your wardrobe suggests you mean business. Maybe not so much my wardrobe. I like to dress and have a little fun, but I do have busy days. And you're, you have other Fendi bags in your arsenal for casual or social occasions. But this one is the Grand Dom just like you. Oh, mm -hmm, lucky me. All right, so it's telling me that I need to buy the Fendi Peekaboo I See You in brown leather and the Fendi Continental Wallet in black Napa. No, that's too much for me anyway at this venture in my life. Okay, so do I agree with my assessment from fin uh, the Fendi quiz? Not really, it's a little boring for my taste. I want something a little bit jazzier, maybe an exotic leather. Wouldn't hate some embellishments to it. I already have a classic brown peekaboo. So yeah, I don't necessarily agree with my results, but I want you guys to take the quiz. I have the link down below in the description. And then let me know down in the comments what you guys get. It's kind of a fun quiz, so I think you guys will enjoy it. That is my Rambly Fendi peekaboo review video. It was a journey, but I think we got there together. We we made it as a team. We're at the end now. And yeah, not much else can be said. This Finny Peekaboo is gorgeous. I mean, the feet on this marble sounds amazing. It's just a gorgeous bag. Just beautiful construction. I love the hardware. I love the, the bracket here up at the top. Quite literally, just a stunning bag. And if you're thinking of adding this to your collection, if you haven't already, I know this has been a pretty popular bag for some time now. So if you don't already have a Fendi Peekaboo, I highly recommend getting one. Do you need the large if you're not gonna use it for work? Probably not. I can barely fill it up and I don't carry much to begin with. But $345, this was just too good of a deal not to snatch up and I had to have it. So. That is my review on the Fendi Large Peekaboo. If you guys have any questions or want me to go a little bit more in depth, I'd be more than happy to. Just let me know down in the comments. That's it for today. So thank you all for stopping by. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Say hi down in the comments. Take the quiz. Let me know what you get. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great weekend, you guys. Bye-bye.